Hey guys, it's Kelly and welcome back to my channel. I have what can only be described by the team at Volkswagen, a cool take on a minivan, and that is the Volkswagen ID Buzz, an electric van. Now behind me, this is the European model shown, so the US version will have slight variations, but I thought, you know what, it's a van, I'm a mom, let's just like have a first look at it. If this is your first time joining me, hey, I'm Kelly and I'm the car mom. I review cars for moms and for families. I'm a mom of two and a certified child passenger safety tech. Let's get this tour started. I mean, there is just so much to break down here on this exterior. Like, I love, I honestly think she's darling. Comment below what you guys think. I could see how it could be a little controversial, but I think like if you're going to do it, do it this big, and that's what Volkswagen has done. It is such a nod to the old VW bus with a little bit of some updated styling, but I like when they still stick true to their roots. I think that a lot of people had some gripes with the Wagoneer because they brought the Wagoneer back and it looked nothing like the old Wagoneer. So I like that we can still see some, some of the same DNA and genetics in this Volkswagen bus. Okay, starting with the front end. Now this is an all electric vehicle. So we've talked about this before. When you're electric, you can do whatever you want on the grill because there is no engine to worry about cooling down. They've taken a really simple approach and kind of let the colors play on it a little bit more. So it's completely white down here and then we get into some fun yellow with kind of an interesting looking fender right here. I think it looks pretty great. Loving the LED headlights with the LED light bar all the way around. And then the Volkswagen logo is loud and proud. You know what we love to see? That. We love to see some brand representation. Moving along to her side profile. It is a big car. I mean, look at this vehicle. I feel like this is a really large vehicle. It's very tall and it's definitely different than anything else that's on the road. Again, I'm really liking the two-tone color. I just think that's kind of fun. I also know for a fact it comes in Car Mom Blue, which is exciting. If we keep moving along back here, this is where things kind of get a little bit interesting. Full transparency, don't love this. Would have loved to see this kind of embedded into it, um, but that's okay. We will take what we can get. A little bit of a design right here. The wheels are there. <laughs> pretty basic on the wheels. And then moving along to the back end, they keep it flat and they keep it simple. I'm noticing this trend come more and more. It looks very similar to the Wagoneer, like a G-Wagon kind of, just flat. I'm just like obsessed with how big this logo is. Like, I mean, it's almost like, I mean, it's, it's loud and proud, but it's a big car, so it better be big. And then we have the ID Buzz down there. I think the back end actually looks great. Normally I don't love light bars that go all the way across. This one is a little bit more narrow. I could probably do without that because I do think there's just kind of a lot going on. It's like line, 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 line. Like it's just kind of a lot down the back end. Um, so I'd probably nix that, but obviously no one asked. Let's go to the driver's seat and then let's talk about the back seat. I mean, look at this interior design. Okay, like I'm obsessed with the pastel yellow and white. I'm not sure how like family friendly, how like mom friendly this is, but it's looking pretty nice in this like perfectly clean auto show vehicle. Okay, a lot to break down here as well. I mean, look at the cubby spaces, love. These are some deep side cubbies. Oh my goodness gracious. And then you go in, there's a little bit of a step up right here, kind of thinking this, di this diamond grippy design is kind of fun. You hop on in and then you know that you're in an electric vehicle. Dash is kind of compact. The white steering wheel looks very similar to the, um, the Volkswagen ID4. It looks like it's a very similar infotainment system. Infotainment system is really beautiful like i mean i love that this is just like matching the yellow of the interior i mean everything is super cohesive it's a little bit of a plop down but i feel like in these electric cars like they're trying to give that more like airy feel so i think that's kind of why things are a little bit more separate it's funny in some of the other cars we see everything seems to be together and then the electric cars it's like they want everything separated out okay this is a fun little pocket look at that for your phone with two usb c's cute i mean that's fun Vents right here, look at this, we can open up the doors and then we can either hide our cup holders, pull them out, and then you know these things are adjustable for even more cup holder fun. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, and this is removable. Okay, so that's removable. I don't know why I'd ever remove that necessarily. And guys, remember this is the European model, so we don't really know what the US model will look like, but I mean, this thing is huge, huge. With this tiniest mirror. No, literally, like these proportions are incorrect. Okay, before we get to the back seat, let's talk about the front seat, specifically this design. So I'm loving like the white leather against the yellow cloth. Again, I'm not sure how like mom friendly this is. Hopefully it comes in a darker interior, but nonetheless, I think it's honestly beautiful. The seats are comfortable. They're big. I mean, the whole car just feels 
big. I think like what we need to compare, well, I guess we need to compare this to a minivan. It's just like, it's bigger in other ways. So like my head clearance in here is insane. Like my, even my ground clearance, I think looks better than some of the minivans out there. Okay guys, look at this. On the passenger side door panel, another USB-C, but in the door. Fun. Okay, now what we have been waiting for, the biggest benefit of a minivan is the sliding door. So if you see what I say about the track, that's why that line's there. Some of the other models, like the Honda Odyssey, actually put it into the windowsill to kind of hide it a little bit. I would have loved to see that just to kind of clean everything up. Oh my. Okay, so remember, this is the European version. The American version will also have a third row and the backseat might alter a little bit, but they were pretty confident that they're gonna be pretty similar. So just keep that in mind as I'm doing this tour. Okay, look at this. Cute, fun, darling. Okay, so we have a bench seat. It is a 40-60 split, meaning that 60% of the width is on these two seats, 40% is on these two seats. So if I hop on in, we had set these seats probably a little longer than, a little further back than needed, but just to kind of give you an idea of the space, it's looking pretty good. Okay, a little pocket right here, that's fun. I'm like so concerned what this is. I guess it's a tray. It doesn't go up any further. Honestly, I hate that. Like this is just like ask. I mean, I guess it's nice for the older passengers, but kind of just seems like whatever. Lower back pocket right here. Um, what else do we have? Okay, is that like kind of all we have? Where are the vents? Where are the vents? Okay, so the guy just came over. He was a darling. Thank you for coming over. Um, so here's what, here's what we found out. This is basically a cargo van, right? They've put seats in. People, there are no vents back here. Red flag alert. There are no vents. There are some vents in the third row. There is nothing here. Nothing on the back of the center console. Nothing on the ceiling. There are no vents. And he did not make it seem like there will be vents in the second row. So something to note. Now, in the American version, they are saying that it will be available very similar to the Atlas with captains or a bench seat. But let's just have a moment for this bench seat because it is fabulous. Not obsessed with the rigid buckles. Those make it a little bit more difficult to install car seats, but this is a very wide bench seat. As far as the car seat hardware is concerned, lower anchors in both of these outbound seats and then tether anchors on all three seats across the bench. So that's great. Um, and I feel good about the width of this bench for some three across options. Obviously I don't have my car seats here with me, but I think it's looking pretty good. Okay, let's head to the trunk. And then we just all have to remember this is not the American version. They said the American version should be arriving at dealership sometime in 2024. Okay, let's talk about the trunk space. This is like the biggest tailgate I've literally ever seen. Wow. So again, remember three rows available in the American SUV. Look at this back here, another little buzz, cute. USBs on both of these sides. And we forgot to mention, but in the second row, there are USBs on the door. So obviously when we were open up, opening the door, it was hard to see, but there are USBs in the second row door. I mean, trunk space is beautiful. What else were we expecting? I just need to see more. I need to see the extended wheelbase. I need to see the third row. I need to see the third row access. I need to like put some car seats in here. I just need to do the things. This is tall. Can you imagine if you were like not six feet tall? They should really have it in here. For how big this car is, yeah. Volkswagen, call your girl. Okay guys, so that is going to wrap up this Volkswagen ID Buzz Tour. Just wanna to remind everyone one more time, this is not the extended wheelbase. The extended wheelbase is what's coming to the US, so it will have a third row and it will be longer. Length hasn't been announced yet. Like, a lot of things haven't been announced yet. So this is truly a first look, but let me know in the comments below, are you excited for the buzz to come to the States? Is this a car you would rock or is it just like a little too much? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to y'all next time.